Sarah here with Brown Family Goods, and I thought today we would do some New Year's food. So you saw me pick all those greens in the garden the other day, and I've, I've had those in the fridge for a couple of days. So what I did was I just picked them, I cut the big stems and everything out of them, and then I gave them a good wash, like a double wash. I washed them once, and then I washed them one more time to get as much of the, I don't know, dust and little pieces of leaves and all kinds of stuff off of them. So they're nice and clean and then I popped them in my fridge outside for a couple of days until I was ready for them. And today we're gonna make a gigantic batch of greens. We're just gonna mix the two turnip, the two different types of greens together. Honestly, it's actually three different types of greens, I think. Mustard greens, turnip greens, and collard greens. We're just gonna put them all in together in my giant roaster over here and cook them up with some smoked turkey wings and some other flavorings, of course. But that'll make a huge batch of greens and then we'll divide it up into what we're gonna actually have for today and then we'll freeze the rest of it. That way I can take out some greens anytime I want it. Alan and I really like to eat greens, but it's a lot of work to make them. You know, you kind of have to think about it and it, it's not really easy to keep that much greens fresh. That way you can cook them up when you want them. So this will be a good way to go. And I'm not really doing much today. This is actually New Year's Day. So Alan's outside working on some things. I'm not doing much, so I'm gonna be cooking in the kitchen. Also ran to my local little grocery store because they had a good sale on these spiral hams. So I'm gonna cook this up too, and um, we'll have that for the next few days. So we'll have that for dinner tonight. It's kind of like 11 o'clock right now, so it won't be done until a little bit later on after lunch. But we love to have that on hand. Alan especially loves to have spiral ham on hand. So he will eat the leftovers until they're completely gone. So that's great. I love that too. <laughs> that's super nice for me. So I'm going to go ahead and get that going. It's got to get into the oven so that it can actually get done in the next couple of hours. And then we'll have it today as well. Okay, hey, let me just show you what I'm doing here. I have my spiral ham. I have a foil pan. I need to get out. This is the little glaze pack. We'll deal with that later. I need to get out a uh, sheet pan or something to put this foil on. Okay, so I just get a sheet tray. Definitely want to put the foil pan onto something, otherwise it will be too flimsy. So this is just going to go straight into the pan with the big cut side down. This said to cook it for 15 minutes per pound, and this is about 8 pounds. So it'll be about uh, 2 hours of cook time. So it needs to get going. This has like a little cover thing on the bone so that it doesn't poke through. And it's just gonna go straight into the pan here. And then you just cover it with foil. So that takes care of the ham. We don't have to worry about it for a while. And it will be in a 325 oven for two hours. And then we will start to put this glaze packet or whatever on there. I would prefer it without the glaze packet, but Alan loves that too. So it's fine. Um, it always tastes good either way, but um, we'll, we'll deal with that glaze packet later on. Let me just clean up a little bit here. And I'm going to run outside to the outside fridge and get all of those greens out as well. I wanted to ask you all, what do you think of my hair? I did cut my hair off a little bit before Christmas. Let me know in the comments, what do we think? Long, short, what's better? I like short. I am loving this hair. Now, tell me in the comments if you like it. Don't tell me if you don't like it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you can tell me. I can probably take it, but I do really like it short and it has been so enjoyable to have short hair, not have to deal with it. It's so much easier. I love it. And it just has like body and yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> if you like it, only if you like it. Um, okay, anyway, so let me tidy up the kitchen a little bit. I got my roaster pan out just a minute ago, but I'll run out and get all of the greens and we'll start to deal with them. All right, now we got the greens inside. This is a mix of collards, Mustard greens, there's only a little bit of mustard greens, like maybe a half a pound of mustard greens. Um, collard greens, mustard greens, and turnip greens. And then I'm also gonna put in 
um, a couple of chopped up turnip roots, the actual turnip themselves with these greens today. So that'll be a first for me. I usually don't put in um, the actual turnips themselves, but it, it's always good whenever I have them and they're that way, I always like that. So I'm like, why not? I have a ton of big turnips, so I might as well put some into the greens. So with these greens, I'm gonna set them aside for a few minutes. We don't really have to mess with them quite yet because at first I wanna chop up a bunch of garlic, the turnips themselves, and some onions. All right, get these big old things out of the way set them back here for a little while well i just wanted to say thank you so much for being here and watching my videos in 2023 that was my very first year doing youtube and i gained about 2,000, a little over 2,000 subscribers so i appreciate you all so much for subscribing to my channel for liking my videos for watching them everything that you do and just being here with me it's been so fun already with just 2,000 of you on board to have a little community it's great to comment, see your comments, and be able to respond back to them on the videos. And I've had such a good time making these videos this year, or last year at this point. And I look forward to what 2024 holds for my channel. I hope that you will stick around for everything that 2024 is going to have here on the Brown Family Goods channel. And if you haven't already, I hope that you'll consider subscribing and watching some more home and garden and homesteading videos here on the channel in the future but for now let's get back to cooking up this big big batch of greens and having a happy new year's day okay bringing the beans or the greens back up here um, i'm just going to run through all of this with my knife i already took out the biggest pieces of stems like the big vein that runs in the middle well not out of this one obviously this mustard green um, for the most part I did, but I'm just going to chop these roughly down into some smaller pieces. That way it's a little bit easier to eat when it comes down to it. So just sort of into ribbons basically is what I'm doing. So see how now they're just kind of in pieces like this rather than whole leaves or basically whole leaves. Okay, so instead of waiting, I think I'm just gonna chop and drop all of this straight over into the roaster. I don't have any liquid into the, in there quite yet, but I have one thing of pasture-raised chicken bone broth here. No, this is beef broth. So I'm gonna put it in. I thought that was chicken, but it doesn't really matter because the rest of the things, the rest of the broth that I'm gonna make, it will be chicken broth. I think all total I have about six pounds of mixed greens here so like I said it's just all gonna go into the roaster here trying to cut as much as I can at once without like involving my fingers. Okay, so we got all this chopped up. There's one small piece left. We got all that chopped up and it is full, full, full. So I'm going to mix up some more chicken broth with some chicken bouillon and pour that in as well. And then um, just throw the lid on for quite a while. After about an hour of cooking, I'll come back and start to taste and season things and see exactly how, where we're at. But first of all, all this greens has to wilt down. And um, so that will take a little bit for everything to get nice and warm through and start to wilt. Okay, it's actually been two hours since I put this in, but I just wanted to show you what it's looking like. I added chicken stock, salt, pepper, 
and that's it. Oh, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Okay, friends, it is the end of the day here. And I wanted to show you how this meal is gonna to come together for our New Year's Eve, no, New Year's Day dinner. So my greens are done, totally done. All I did with them is I put them on, what time did I start them? Maybe right around noon. And so I cooked them this entire time they've been cooking. So I turned them up on a pretty high temperature at one point, let them boil for quite a while, and everything got really, really soft in there, including the pieces of cut up turnips and they are delicious yes i will be always doing that in the future because that is so good i just tried a little bit of them so i ended up i don't even really know the ratios of what i did but um i will try to include a recipe for that i had sort of one that was for inspiration that i ended up using um and in that one that's where i saw that she used turkey wings instead of like a ham hock or something because quite frankly i had already used my ham hock typically i have one left from thanksgiving that i will use at new year's whenever i make this but i had already used my one from thanksgiving so um instead i use those turkey wings or it's really just one turkey wing it's like just the whole wing that is a smoked turkey wing and it is such good flavor in there so that is something that i would highly recommend it i'll link the recipe that i saw that in that way you can use that one if you want to as well um, and these are probably the best greens that i've ever made i don't know if it's the mix of all the different greens together instead of just turnip greens or what but these turned out so so well also i think that that um chicken bouillon that i used that's really one of my favorite flavors of like a bouillon or whatever. So that also really helps because it took a lot of the bitterness um, out. And I think the, the greens were just better than the first greens that I made this year in general. They're not as bitter because the, the weather's been a lot cooler. So they were not as bitter um, in the end. So anyway, I have got some, I put in some black eyed peas. All I could find was cans of black eyed peas. So I literally just got one can because Alan doesn't really care for them that much. I mean, he'll eat them for a meal, but he doesn't want to have a ton of them anyway. So all I could find was cans at my store yesterday. So I just grabbed one can of those. I thought for sure that I had some dry beans, but I mean, I have a lot of dry beans, but no black eyed peas at all. So I just took one of the pieces of the turkey wing out of the um, greens as they were cooking, and I put it over in the black eyed peas saucepan while those are heating up just to impart a little bit of flavor into those as well. So I also put some seasonings, just like some Cajun seasoning and stuff in there with the black eyed peas. And then I'm not even gonna have to make cornbread with this and I'm not gonna have to make rice because I have both of those already left over. And then the ham finished cooking earlier. So I just have had it setting to the side and I will reheat some of it for our dinner and we will have that right along with everything else. So this is gonna come together very, very easily, very soon. Okay, so here's the greens. They are done, done, done. All I did, I took out those turkey wings and I picked off the meat. So I put the meat back in there with them, but lift, you know, took the bones and everything out. So don't they look wonderful? Now I will, um, we'll eat some of these tonight. And as I said, the rest I'm gonna put into pint size freezer containers and I'll refrigerate them first overnight so that they get nice and cold. And then I'll throw those into the freezer tomorrow after they are chilled. Well, the rest of this dinner is gonna come together fairly easily because cooking the greens and cooking the ham was basically the hard task for the day if you could even call it hard they're very hands-off tasks um so i did end up getting about eight pints of greens that i could put into the freezer so like i said i just refrigerated those overnight and then i froze them the next day once they were nice and cool you see here i'm adding a little bit of liquid to each container after i put the greens in and then i refrigerated them for a while and the rest of the dinner was just basically reheating some rice. I put some cornbread into the air fryer that I had made the previous night and got it nice and crisped up again so that we would have it with this dinner. And I'm just dishing up now my black eyed peas, which I simmered with a little bit of seasonings. Those are just canned black eyed peas. And then in go my greens into my little dish here. And I'm gonna add some pepper sauce to those as well. 
to eat them and that is something we always have on hand for our greens and then a little ham and that delicious cornbread i'll put my recipe for my cornbread in the description box below as well we like sweet cornbread here in the south so if you don't like sweet cornbread this one's not going to be for you but if you do this is the best sweet cornbread and here's how everything came together a delicious dinner plate i'm adding a little bit of hot pepper sauce and we're going to enjoy this meal it was so delicious and hopefully we have set ourselves up for a year of health wealth and prosperity by eating this right we did all that we can do to get our 2024 off to the best start possible so there's my toasty cornbread and i really appreciate you being here i hope to see you back here for my next video real soon